your host, Amberlynn Carroll. Thank you for joining us on this episode of MedWatch Today. We had the privilege of catching up with the Fuentes family who saw firsthand for more than a year how important having an integrated health care system like community really is. January 4th, 2019, a day that is, will forever be engraved in our minds. Troy was born at 24 weeks. He was only a pound and an ounce when he was born. Um, so very high risk patient, required a lot of resuscitation, very fragile patient. Troy Fuentes spent the first 14 months of his life in Community Regional Medical Center's neonatal and pediatric intensive care units. I remember there was doctors that would come in not even taking care of Troy, but they would just come in and check on him. Everyone there knew Troy. It was nice that um, everyone cared so much about not only him, but our family. He required 24-hour um, care, specialty care, in regards that to that he had a neonatologist when he was in the NICU, and then he had a pediatric intensivist once he was in the PICU, and he required nurses, respiratory therapists, dietitians, and we had a lot of physicians on consult as well because he had such a broad span of diagnosis. Physicians within community health system collaborate for the best possible patient outcomes, even through transitioning care like Troy's, where he went from the neonatal ICU to the pediatric ICU after turning one. What I love about our physicians is that they're so um, compassionate, supportive. At times we have up to 78 patients in our NICU and they will remember each patient's name. They will remember the mom's name. They remember exactly what happened. We work in a teaching hospital and they're even as nurses they're ready to teach us and help us learn. Clinical nurse Laura Enriquez was part of Troy's 418 days of care at Community Regional. I still have our little towel from when he went home. We all celebrated with this towel. We really care and these kids are our kids. They become our kids. Troy is now four years old. For Troy now to, you know, be where he's at now, walking and thriving and, and why Troy's here now was because of the care and love that they gave him then. Troy will continue to receive treatment at community, allowing him to grow through all stages of life. So it's been amazing that we've been able to continue seeing the same doctors and they all kind of make decisions based on what an, each other think. Keep doing the awesome work that you guys are doing. You guys are changing lives, saving lives. 